Okay. Hello, folks. Welcome back to another episode of The Art of Being with the Act Matrix. I'm Kevin Hope. And, and I'm Phil Tenalia. Right. And, 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 and if you're listening on iTunes or something, uh, we have both managed to wear black t shirts today, uh, <laughs> which is appropriate. Total coincidence. Uh, the, total, and, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe we were influenced. Maybe by not. Context, yeah. But knowing what we were going to present about, right. which is uh, what did we title it? How to be a, a Taoist with Taoist. the Act Matrix. So how to be a Taoist with the Act Matrix. So we have our black pajamas. On. Yeah, really. Uh, and uh, and so, all kidding aside, folks, <laughs> since a week or two after I ever developed the Matrix, uh, <laughs> and heck, the, the Matrix was named the Matrix, because before it was the Matrix, it was the grid, and it was named the Matrix by a Buddhist person. Uh, <laughs> so there's your Eastern stuff getting yes. in. Um, people very soon after that said, oh, the matrix is like a mandala, uh, which is something you stare at for a meditative thing. Um, so this connection to Eastern philosophy has been with the matrix since its inception. Mm. Uh, but with that said, back then it was really a clinical tool. We were just starting to transport it over towards, the, you know, acceptance and commitment training where we were using it with work groups and stuff. But now it's how to be a Taoist. Yes. And Phil here, he's a wee bit of a expert uh, with those Eastern philosophies, other philosophies as well. Yes. Uh, and I'm an armchair. I've read about a lot about it and understand it uh, very well. And recently was watching a YouTube video that showed up in my feed about Taoism, and I went, oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. that's the matrix. So we're going to show you how. Yes. Very quickly. Yeah, so like Kevin said, uh, I, I have been, uh, I have studied different traditions, certainly uh, Taoism, uh, Buddhism, uh, mindfulness, and that's one of the ways, that was the vehicle that got me to come toward uh, the acceptance and commitment therapy and training uh, that I got involved with with Kevin. So uh, all these different uh, paths le led us right here, right now. And uh, so we're going to get busy with talking about uh, how, uh, how Taoism and the ACT Matrix uh, go together very nicely. So I just have my little, my little handy-dandy book here. I found my old book on the Tao Te Ching, whoa, whoa, whoa. which is a way thick book. And uh, it is actually the second most translated book in the world. And we all know what number one is, folks. Yes, we do. Right. But it's the Bible. If you don't, it's the Bible. Yeah. Uh, and number two is... Dao Te Ching. Dao Te Ching. Uh, and, uh, a fellow by the name of Lao Tzu. Right. Uh, very, very interesting. So this is a widely read text. And there's millions, <laughs> hundreds of millions uh, of... Okay going about practicing this and there is the word practice yeah so we're going to use the act matrix in your daily practice of this we're not saying it replaces the readings and thinking about being non-judgment yeah, good stuff oh, that's all very good stuff but regardless of which way you come at this yeah. it all comes back to a daily practice yeah, it's what you do when you put the book down right and uh and then some people struggle, which is part of the whole book. <laughs> but they struggle with. I think that's why I wrote it. <laughs> right, but they struggle with the daily practice. Right. How do how do I do that? How do I uh, efficiently do that? So we're going to show you a way of doing yeah. it. Yeah. So um, let me. Uh, and he's going to hold it up. Yeah. Here we go. Without further ado, we're just going to show you. There it is. That's the that's called the Act Matrix. In case you're brand new to this and you're watching a YouTube uh, and you say, what? That's the act matrix right there that Phil's holding up. And traditionally, in the way I cr created the thing was I put the five senses at the top. Now, with that said, 
we oftentimes add a sixth sense, which is knowing where your hands and feet are in space, which is called proprioception. So just, yeah, it's sort of important because it comes in. Yeah, so, yeah, we just put senses up there and you can put as many senses up there as you want. <laughs> That's why we put senses. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> people will go, hey, what about that proprioception, Kevin? Yeah, got, yeah, that too. I, yeah. I got tired of that. Yeah. Uh, what about the support senses? Fine, it's up there. And it, it really is up there. So it's all up there. But anybody that has studied very much of Taoism uh, knows that focusing on your sensory experiences in the moment is very important. Um, and so that's where it starts. Uh, and and it, it really does for this, for this how to do Taoist practice daily, you'd start with the five senses. Am I correct, Phil? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you want to notice the surroundings that you're in. Yeah, that, that's where it starts. Yep. And uh, so, so just remember, and anybody listening, it's just a vertical line yep. that's then bisected by a horizontal line. Yep. And right now we're at the top of the vertical line and the senses. Right. And that's what you bring your attention to first. Now, the great thing about the matrix is you can do this anytime, anywhere. You don't have to close your eyes, so you can do it while you're driving. A special room or a special right. place. Anytime, anywhere, you can do this, especially once you, you get it in your head, which is not hard. It's only two lines. Um, and so that's it. Now, down at the bottom is the other big emphasis of Taoism or the practice of Taoism which is your mind, which basically is always up to something. Yep. Right. And uh, never stops. It never stops. And what your mind is up to uh, <laughs> is what gets in the way of everything. <laughs> Correct, Bill? Oh, yeah. Well, I think the first line is something along the lines of the, the way that you can speak of is not the way. So that's the first thing that Lao Tzu points out to us is that talking about it ain't it and using words about it ain't it. But your mind's definitely going to want to do that kind of stuff. Right. And, and folks, that it's literally the first two lines of the book. Literally. And we're, we're translating it a little bit for you as many, many others, thousands of other Lots people. Lots of people are translated, right. But, but the basic gist of it is that words aren't going to do this justice. <laughs> You're not going to do this with words. And what Phil's saying is your mind instantly rebels from that and goes to using words. Yep. Uh, I would dare say that many of the people that write those books fall into the trap of using many, many words uh, when the first two lines tell you, nope. Words aren't going to cut it. So this really is about just the diagram. Notice your five senses. Oh, I just used noticing. Sorry. That's right in the middle. <laughs> so right in the middle, everything is noticing. So now you're going to notice your, your five senses. That's all you do. And then you're going to notice what your mind's up to. It's probably up to like three things. It's thinking thoughts. It's having feelings. And maybe it's having urges. Yep. That's the three that, that people. Those are the biggies. Those are the biggies that people focus on. So you would say, or you would notice, oh, what are my thoughts right now? What are my feelings right now? And what are my urges right now? You're just noticing them. Yeah. That's it. You're not trying to change them any whatsoever other than you're simply noticing them. People oftentimes say, just notice. So the exercise that you just started was notice each of your senses. And if you want to throw proprioception or some other sense in, go right ahead. Once again, you're not trying to change it. You're just noticing it. Yep. And then go down and notice your mind. And what's it thinking? You know, like it the, word, the words you're thinking to yourself, yep. maybe the images that are coming to you. Uh, that's the thoughts. Then the feelings, you know, fear, anger, lust, all this good stuff. 
guess the law of lust goes urges, right? Are you hungry? You want to go eat? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. You know, there's urges that show up. Or maybe there's none there and you would notice that. Fine. You know, whatever. You just notice. Uh, and that's it. You want to add anything, Phil? I mean, that's it for the start. No, that's, that's a good start. Yep, yeah, that's where you want to be. And there you're just being in the moment with whatever is going on outside of you. And you're noticing what's going on outside of you. And you're also noticing what's going on on the inside. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you can probably hear me. I'm going to switch to my podcast now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. We're on pod. I'm on podcast mic now. Um, so that's it. And I, I would imagine that anyone who has practiced any of this uh, Taoism stuff will, will under say, well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're good to go. So far, so good. Right down the middle of the plate. Taoism. Right. Uh, it's, now, we'll be the first to admit it's right down the middle of the plate on a lot of other things as well. Uh, but it certainly fits with Taoism. And, yeah. Uh, and and that, that, that practice, that daily practice of getting in that groove, uh, of, of noticing things. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the biggie, really. Yeah, and that's the one that only you can do. So that's what Lao Tzu was pointing at. He was basically saying, you know, that this is what we all must discover on our own. The way, the way, Tao the way, that's uh, the is way. what for, for each of us to discover. And what do we have to discover with? But we have our senses and we have our mind. Yep. Uh, to go over, and, and if, um, I am sure that this podcast, since we put Taoism in it, is going to be listened to by some people who are not familiar with the Act Matrix. Right. The, the Act Matrix scientifically goes about, or is consistent with what we know from science, is that because humans are so good at language, uh, and telling stories inside our heads and thinking thoughts and seeing things and having urges that we get into our minds more and, and we don't notice our, our sensory stuff. Spending more time down here. Right. And Phil just did, just for the listeners, he just showed, pointed his finger at the lower part closer to the mind. That's where we get stuck. And, the the interesting thing about that that is in that is science being entirely consistent with Taoism. Yes, all these many years later. Right, that science shows. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Now I'm not going to use the technical language that that no, 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 they use to talk that about that, but people get stuck in their heads. Yeah. And I dare say, almost everybody listening to this or watching this on YouTube knows that. Yeah, you can get stuck you can in your head. to yourself. Oh, you know, I'm up in my head right now. I'm not paying attention. No, that's what we're talking about. Well, exactly. And so now in this case, and it's said often, you want to lift up your point of view and get it in the middle of noticing. Right there. That's right. Right smack dab in the middle of the, of the vertical line. It's also in the middle of the horizontal line, but it's where right those, in the middle. Where those crosshairs meet. between the vertical Right line there. And, the and, and for the purpose of Taoism, that that's really all you're doing. You're just doing the vertical line. Yeah. Uh, if we were doing this, you know, in, in some other context and talking about something else, we'd bring in the toward and away of the horizontal line. Uh, for those who know toward is toward who and what's important to you. Away is uh, moving away from st stuff like fear and, and pain and, and such. Uh, and while those can be definitely be important uh, in Taoism, well, don't worry about it. Nope. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Because we're really doing, we're, we're, this podcast is named How to Do Taoism right. or How to Be a Taoist with the Act Matrix. And so you sort of know the horizontal line is there, but you know, if you happen to notice toward or away, it's not the end of the world. That's fine. Uh, but more focus on, on the senses and the mind. Uh, and, uh, and you can do it anytime you want, folks. 
<laughs> said, even, literally. even right now, while you're listening to this podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> no eyes closed, no breathing, no fruit, <laughs> no, no, yeah. no anything. Yeah. And once again, I know I laugh. I am not joking about any of those kind of practices. No. Those are fine. Those are great. Sometimes those aren't available. Sometimes people just can't seem to pull those off. Yep. Or they have the time to carve out. Right. Most people can pull this off. Yeah. And, and yeah. that's what Lao Tzu was saying, too, I think. He was saying that it's to, it's to be found in action. You're, you're doing this in the action of your life, in, in the context of, you, of what, you're, what you're doing in your life. Yeah, the fancy Latin term is in vivo. Ah, there you go. In life. Uh, and uh, that's, the, that's the trick of it, folks. And that's why part of this is so consistent, because what Phil just said, uh, the whole point is to be mindful, or well, I don't know, what term do they use? They probably don't say mindful, but uh, the, the well, doubt. He, he, his thing was trying, he was trying to, you know, the stillness of the mind, uh, to still the mind, to the cessation of the striving is the way they talked about it within the Tao, so that you could get into this, what they would call the flow, the way, the way uh, right, right. Of, of nature, you know, because he looked around, he looked at nature, yeah. and he said, well. The, the biggie yeah. is that you're reconnecting with nature. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and how do you do that? Well, here, try it right now. Th say to yourself, I am going to reconnect with nature hmm. and notice how much further you are toward connecting with nature. Yeah. I just said it myself and I'm not any closer. Nope. Okay. So you could say, I, I'm going to, I'm going to do that later on. I'm going to re reconnect with nature <laughs> right. later on. <laughs> And as we're going back to words, don't cut it. <laughs> they, they That's don't, what Lao Tzu said. You know, uh, they, don't, they don't make it. You, got, yeah. you need to do something. Yeah. And, and this is what we're meaning. You can do this on the fly. Yeah. Uh, and it will help you in many things. This noticing of your five senses, experiencing more. I, maybe feels different, but 100% of the thousands of people I have trained in the act matrix all of them said they needed to do less mind stuff more noticing the five senses or the senses stuff oh yeah yeah no one ever went the other way on me I either i haven't had a single person go you know i'm way up in my senses way too much of the time i need to get in my head nope <laughs> i don't that's not and, and the reason is is because of language folks language automatically draws you down uh, into your head and live it in your head. And so this is a practice of getting out yeah. of it and very consistent with, with Taoism. And, and whether you want to read, oh man, I cannot say it as well as Phil, the name Tao of the Te book, Chang. Tao Te Ching. Um, great. And if you don't, that's great too. Uh, oh, I just did it again. Didn't I? <laughs> That's okay. Occupational hazard. <laughs> it's an occupational hazard, but I just did a Taoist thing. Yeah. Because what the Taoist thing is softness. Yes. Softness is the most powerful force. Yes. It's not hardness. No. Now, I'll tell you what hardness would be. I would be telling all of my listeners and viewers, you have to read that book. Yeah. You must do this. You must do this. That's hard, and it doesn't work. But instead, hey, you can read it or not read it. Either way, it'll work just fine. That's soft, and it, it works that way, folks. You can do it. It, it works. That's a very soft way uh, of going about it. Once again, through tens of thousands of hours of practicing the matrix, the act matrix, I've picked that stuff up that softness up so you can pick it up too uh and then if you want to say well i think i'm a taoist uh, <laughs> uh by the way i'm not saying i'm a taoist i'm just saying that this is very consistent yeah. with what taoist practice yeah. uh, i haven't studied enough i haven't done enough in terms of taoism to be a taoist i don't think but i can certainly behave in some taoist ways I would imagine. So, uh, yeah. And I certainly know how to do that act matrix thing. 
and so, uh, so any other words, this, that's how you do it, folks. It's that simple. Um, Pretty simple. And, and, that, and that's what Lao, Lao Tzu was pointing to was he just looked around and he noticed how nature worked and, you know, the, it was simple. There are, you know, there, there's no language out there in nature, but things seem to find their way. And there was a natural course to things. And he was trying to help people to return back. Even back then, all those thousands of years ago, people were running around up in their heads and, and sure. He knew that, or who the collection of people that wrote the Tao Te Ching. We're not even sure if it was a person. Yeah, there's, there's some myths going on yeah. there. But certainly a, a bunch of wise people figured something out way back then, and they were trying to tell us about it. Yeah, people get in their heads. Yeah. And mess things up. Yep. And guess what people do in 2019? Yep. They get in their heads they and think. mess things up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, that, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and the, and then the biggie that Lao Tzu talked about, I mean, many things, but is the idea of of, of the wa water and 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 a river and watching how that operates. Now you hear Bruce Lee showing up. There you, you go, you Bruce Lee fans out yeah. there. Be the water. <laughs> uh, be like water, uh, and uh, that's very much comes from that Eastern Taoist philosophy. Yeah, uh, and the, the rivers flow. That's where the term flow yes. comes from. Yes. Uh, and, and they don't speak. They don't talk. Nope. And they wear down mountains. And they get, they get where they want. They yeah. get somewhere. That, well, they, they Without get, an agenda. No, there's no agenda. And yet they always arrive just where they need to arrive. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. and, uh, so, uh, and, and then you go about, well, how do I do that? Well, the daily it's hard actually yep. uh <laughs> it's not an easy thing so you that's where it comes in the daily practice well that's what we're saying you can use the matrix it, it yep. helps out um and later on you can listen to some other stuff and get to toward the way stuff uh but uh but for right now for the Taoist tradition notice your senses notice your mind and then notice your senses again. Yeah. <laughs> then notice your mind again. Uh, and if you can manage to do that a few times a day, it really does help. Now, I will say in this regard, if you do that zero times a day, it probably won't help. Nope. That, you know, when you, when you got to practice something, you got to practice something, you know. And this is a, a practice thing. Yeah. So, uh, but if you practice it just a little bit, I think you'll be quite pleasantly surprised at uh, the simplicity of it. And now you can do it anywhere. Yeah. Driving, office, middle of the night, wherever. Yep. <laughs> if you're awake, you can do it. Never heard of anybody doing it in their sleep. But, uh... Nor have I. <laughs> Someone's probably going to report to us that they can do it in their sleep. Uh, well, more power to them. Right? <laughs> This is wherever, um, and we'll get we'll we'll do another uh, uh, podcast on this on yeah. uh, you know other activities people do in their daily lives, and some very strenuous activities actually, and you can be doing this matrix thing yes. during those activities, and that's one of the handiness of it, is you don't have to go sit down and take a break and you know spend five ten. 20 minutes, whatever it is, away from everything else. This, this yep. was always literally meant to be done in vivo, in life, while you're walking, while you're sitting. While you're, <laughs> while you're cooking dinner. <laughs> while you're cooking dinner, while you're doing anything. It's literally meant to be done during those times. So, yes. uh, so go practice uh, and please subscribe to the email list or if, hit like or whatever if you're over on uh, YouTube, you know, and uh, what is it? What do they say? Ring the bell so you'll know about other, That's right. other things showing up uh, on the podcast. If you can uh, subscribe to the podcast, we, we put out a couple Appreciate of three that. of these things a week. Yeah. And we're going to do some more of along this uh, philosophy things. We're going to also going to head over to the West. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and play with some Western philosophies. Uh, the matrix applies to human beings. So if the human being did it 
we'll apply the matrix to it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and also, if you go to the actmatrixacademy.com, uh, you can support the podcast, uh, join advanced training with Phil and I, get certified in the use you of the You get certified app. in this stuff, right. Right. So there's really cool stuff over there. And the, the, the basic training is free. So you just go over there and sign up, yeah. put your first name in an email and boom, you're in the, you're in, you're, the, you're in the loop. You're in the loop. And then you'll get told about all these podcasts and stuff. So uh, do that. And best of luck to you with your uh, Taoist practice. Noticing yourself being a human. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And we didn't get to the other parts. We got, we got noticing. We didn't get being. No. Oh, uh, put being in there. All right. So now we're going to do it. Well, that's where the name of this podcast comes from. And this so is we the, better do that. You better do it. So the art of being, by the way, folks, uh, is named for the another thing you put in the middle of the matrix after noticing, which is being. Yep. It's the art of being. The really full way of saying it would be the art of uh, the art of being a human. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the whole thing and then when you practice this a whole lot i mean you get some weeks and months and maybe even years under your belt of noticing being you're going to notice another thing showing up in the middle oh okay get ready here he comes here he comes and it's a it's a laying over on its side eight which is also known as the infinity symbol. Uh, and many people report that doing this enough is that you're looking into infinity. Or they just call it that rabbit hole that <laughs> Alice in Wonderland referred to because uh, it never stops. Yes, being just continues. It just continues. The, the river flows. It just infinity uh and so just to know that's that's what you're going for with this stuff and uh and apply it to Taoism. have a blast uh, yeah. uh, and, and let us know how it goes yeah, absolutely let us know what you notice okay all right that's it for now thanks so much for listening <laughs> bye-bye now bye.